In the previous video, we saw how to make a bar selection by double tapping. This is great when working with a bar or more of music, but what if we want to adjust just an individual note or a group of notes? For this, we use a lasso selection. To make a lasso selection, we use the lasso icon on the toolbar. On Windows, this is linked into the pen button on the barrel, so there's no icon on the Windows toolbar. Instead, just hold the button down on the pen and draw to make a selection. If, like me, you're using a second generation Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro, you can also enable the toggle in the app settings to double tap the pencil to toggle the lasso select icon. I'll toggle this in the settings and then simply double tap the side of the pencil to enable the lasso selection icon. Now I'll simply draw around the notes that I want to select. Make sure they're encompassed fully. You'll see them turn blue once they're selected. Double tap with your finger to deselect the lasso selection, just like you do for bar selections. Once you've selected some notes, you can move them together by dragging them up or down with a pencil, flip the stems, or erase them altogether. You can also quickly clone the selection by simply tapping in other bars. Anything lasso selected is instantly pasted wherever you tap. This is very useful for quickly pasting dynamics onto multiple staves, or text instructions that you want to appear on every system. It can also be very useful for quickly pasting groups of notes that repeat within the bar, rather than having to draw them all individually. Lasso selections are also voice independent, meaning that you can easily select all of the music in the currently active voice layer, and paste into another voice layer. This is a very powerful feature, and it's worth spending a bit of time with to get to know how it works. That's it for this video, we'll see you in the next one.